is what happens when you look away for one second. So my friend gave me this crystal to turn into a pendant, and I think it's the perfect project for this weekend. And today, I'm gonna show you how I did it. First, I'm gonna take this bezel wire and do some very complicated mathematical calculations. I'm gonna do this the right way. Take the crystal, roll it over on each of its sides to get the length, and then mark it with a Sharpie, because that's the easy way. Grab a saw and cut it where we marked it. Push the wire around the crystal. And then you get something like that. Cut so that the two ends meet flush. I'm gonna solder the setting now. There's already a piece of solder stuck on there because I tried soldering it earlier, but it was dirty, so it just stuck on there. A little side note, the tweezers I'm using to hold the setting are stealing all the heat, keeping the metal from heating up enough to let the solder flow. It's called heatsink, and I realize it's happening right now. So I ditched the tweezers, and I finally get the solder to flow. Look at that nice solder job. I'm going to use wire for the top part of the setting. So first I'll clip a little piece off to make a jump ring using round nose pliers. Then using my saw I'll cut out the wire so that the two ends meet flush. Now I'm clipping a longer piece of silver wire to the arch that's going to attach to the jump ring. I'm using a dapping punch to form the arch. Just a little test fit. And now it's time to solder. After I melted the first wires, I went through the whole process again and ended up with this. Looks good to me. Now I'm going to glue it in and wait for it to dry so I can put a chain on it. And here's the finished pendant. I hope she likes it. <laughs>